I am so sorry. Hey guys, it's been a while. I know I don't have an excuse, but I tried out for the softball team and I made it in. Uh, yeah, so I feel really fortunate to be on the softball team. I've never played softball before and the fact that I'm with so many girls that know how to play and play really nicely, I feel so fortunate to be on a softball team. Yeah, that's just not what this video is about. Um, it's about my February favorite, and I know it's probably a little too late, but the late then no, sorry, better late than never. That's what I meant to say. And if you see, like, the setup is all, like, the background is different. It's just that we moved around my room a little bit, so now my bed is facing the window, so I'm sitting currently on my bed. So it's comfortable, but... I don't know how this video will look like. I don't have that many favorites this month, but I decided to pull out skincare and stuff to this video so you guys can see. It's a more variety of what I love. So let's get started. And the first thing I'm going to start off with is face. And here I have first the makeup eraser. I literally got it. I got it last month, basically. And I have been loving this thing. I'm going to feature this in my future haul, which I think is going to be in, two, in the next, the next, next video. But... I love this thing it's like basically microfiber and it just takes off all the makeup it, it's a little bit harsher on my eyes so I think I might have to take off my eyes before I take off my foundation and stuff like that but this takes off everything guys like it's amazing and it's not like super rough or anything and it's 100% polyester but I don't know what's in that or I don't know how they made it but it takes off all my makeup <laughs> the next product I have here is the San Ives um, apricot scrub fresh skin apricot scrub it's basically a very very deep exfoliant for your face and it takes off that skin cell it says here it's a deep exfoliator factor it's formulated without parabens hyperallergenic dermatologist tested and non comedogenic 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 and it's just an amazing amazing scrub I used to take my off my makeup with this before I bought this but now that I use my makeup eraser to take off my makeup i use this one to exfoliate my skin and it leaves my skin so soft so radiant and i feel like this has helped me and my breakouts because i haven't been breaking out that much sorry if my glasses are bothering you but every time it reflects sun it's purple so yeah it's really really good i really love it if you want to take off your makeup with it you could definitely can and if you have really really sensitive skin you should use this like three times a week or maybe even two my skin isn't sensitive so i use this almost every day um, but yeah, I definitely recommend this, um, scrub because whenever I stop using it, I see breakouts. And when I ever, whenever I go back to it, my breakouts are gone. So, amazing. The next product I have here is the Origins Clear Improvement Mask. I have the little size. This is the 1. fluid ounce and I got it in like a set of Sephora favorites, um, beauty on mask kind of thing. And they have it, the travel size is 1.7 ounces and I believe that is $17. And... I don't think they sell this one individually, but I may be wrong. So this is basically an active charcoal mask to clear pores. You basically put it all on your face really evenly. Like, you have to put, like, a medium amount of this product on your skin. Like, not too thick and not too thin, if that makes any sense. Um, I love this, guys. It's I think that this and this has definitely helped with my acne because I haven't had any active breakouts. And I just love my skin now. I mean, I definitely have to get rid of my acne scars, but that's just one step closer to clear skin, and I'm super happy, and I love these products so, so much. And I use this twice a week, by the way. The next product I have here is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous and 857 Golden Tan. I love this foundation. I got this foundation, like, last year, and it's still running, and I use this every single day for the past month. I just... This is the foundation that I'm currently wearing today. It makes my skin look amazing. It doesn't look cakey. It's just one of the best foundations in the drugstore. I, I love my L'Oreal, don't get me wrong, but I love this one too. So I'm kind of like in between these, but this one I've been loving a bit more this month. Um, it's just an amazing color, an amazing color, an amazing coverage. It's a medium to buildable coverage because I feel like it's not like super, super full coverage, but it's like almost there. So just, I can't describe this foundation other than amazing. It stays on all day. All day, guys. It doesn't make my pores look bigger. It doesn't... Just It's an amazing product, guys. Like, I feel like this is an just, just amazing, amazing. This is an amazing product, guys. It just has amazing coverage. It doesn't break down on my nose. It keeps my, my oiliness at bay. And it's just amazing. And it's blendable. And it's just... 
an amazing product for my oily girls. I don't know about skin, like I don't I don't know about dry skin, but it's an amazing product for my oily girls. And then a product that I've been loving is some Maybelline Master Conceal um, Camouflage and Concealer in Medium, and is what I'm wearing under my eyes. I feel like this is really really good coverage, but if you have dark under eyes, I would put a corrector and then I would put this on, and it, your under eyes would look flawless, guys. Flawless. This is an amazing concealer. It's really underrated for what I hear. Like, I don't hear anybody talking about this. It's really underrated. And it's amazing coverage. Medium coverage. A little bit more buildable than medium coverage. And it's amazing. I have it in medium so I could brighten up my under eyes a little bit better. And yes, it doesn't crease on me or anything. I mean, it does crease on me, but not like. Like, I can see all your lines. Like, not that crazy. I don't know what's wrong with my. With my voice today because like i don't know i don't know sorry if i don't sound like super crazy today it's just that i'm kind of tired uh -huh. so the next product i have here is the l'oreal true match blendable powder i you guys probably know that i love this if you've been with me for a while i just love this powder and i am almost done with it guys almost can you see that it's basically the ring. And I want to use all this product because I feel like that would be super satisfying. But I feel like, how can I get that product out? I think I'm just going to smash it and just like put it in the middle. If that makes any sense. I love this product, guys. It's what I'm wearing again today. This and this just make the best combination. And it makes my skin look nice and smooth and doesn't look cakey. And it's just amazing. If you want to use this for a powder foundation, you can do so. If you want to use this as a setting powder, setting setting your foundation you could do so it will keep you matte it has amazing coverage and it's not so expensive it is like 11.59 so check it out guys very underrated in my opinion now on to blushes and yeah the bomb in the bottom of your hand palette i know i don't know if they sell this anymore but even if they don't you could still buy the blushes and all the products that are inside so that's why i don't feel so mean talking about it um the one blush that i've the two blushes that i've been loving is the cabana boy and instinct is what i have on today i don't know if you could tell but it is what i have on today i love mixing these two or just using this one as like a nice flushed kind of blush i love using this because even though instinct isn't super super it's not it's matte instinct is matte and cabana boy is like a nice purplish with shimmer it's that's Cabana Boy and this is Instain. Instain is more like a flush kind of color. This is how they both look like. That pigmentation, guys. See that pigmentation? That's an amazing pigmentation, guys. You don't see that every day. It's just an amazing product. It's super blendable. Even if you put too much on your cheek, you can blend it away. And it stays on all day. And it's amazing, guys. And they're usually on Hot Look for 50% off. And the bomb usually has sales on their products. And I love this palette. I also love Bahama Mama for, like, a nice contour. And I like using Mary Luminizer as a highlight. Can you see that highlight today, guys? But I feel like this was a little bit of a dud because it's not super pigmented. Like, you kind of have to scrub your brush in to get like a little bit of pigment but I love those the eyeshadows themselves are really really amazing but I don't really find myself reaching for them that often but the, the face powders is what I live for the next product I have here is my Lorac Pro palette and while I am using the eyeshadows today to create this eye look I also use this palette for my brows it's an amazing amazing product it's 42 bucks which it is a little bit too steep but honestly guys these shadows are all you need like honestly honestly I used Sable and Espresso to fill in my brows. You can see those are the ones with the biggest um, dents. I love using light, champ light, light bronze. And I love using taupe. It's just an amazing, amazing palette. Ah, I just dug my finger in it. That's what I do. But those two shades are perfect for my brows, guys. I know what you're thinking. Tony, you bought a 42 but. I know what you're thinking, Tanya, you bought a $42 palette just to use them for your brows. No, I use them for my brows and I use them on my eyes. But I do love them. But I do love them on my brows and they're just an amazing eyeshadow. They're super blendable. They make your eye look, look professional. They're pigmented. This is an amazing product. Now I know why it's so raved about and I love this in my baby. My baby. Another thing that I like using on my brows to set them, like, to gel them down, I guess you could say, is the... L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper in medium to deep, medium, medium to dark. And it's basically like a really, really long wand, but the brush itself is very, very tiny. It's kind of like the um, brush from 
Benefit Gimme Brow. It's an amazing, amazing gel. Brow gel. Because it sets your freaking... Just... Your brows will not move with this on, guys. This is like legitimately gel for your brows. This, this, is, this is legitimately gel for your brows. That doesn't... For me, it doesn't really come out really pigmented as the next one. But I like this one better for the... I like this one better than the next one because it does keep my brows in place and it doesn't move at all. Like it stays on all day. Like it doesn't fade away, which I love. The other day I was using this and it started raining and my brows still looked good and on a point. So that's what I recommend. And my lip product of the month is what I'm wearing on my lips today and it's the Kat Von D Lolita liquid lipstick it's an amazing liquid lipstick I definitely need to put chapstick under it to make it not look so like it sucked the life out of me but when you do so and put a chapstick under it and put this one over it your lips look amazing see that it's like a nice dark mauvey dusty kind of color and it's an amazing like whenever I'm just like I don't know what lip color to wear Lolita when my eyes are like super super light Lolita when it's too dark. Lolita. I use Lolita for everything, guys. Lolita is amazing. And now I know why it's really loud. And I don't know why I'm whispering. And when, even if I'm not finished with this, I'm going to buy a $20 product. The $20 full size one because it's worth it. Because it's an amazing product, guys. I kind of want to try a bow and arrow, but I feel like it's a little bit too nude for me. The last two products are, first off, a perfume. And it's the Coach Poppy perfume. I've been stealing this from my mom. And... It's basically the rollerball. Oh shit. <laughs> it's basically the rollerball and it smells like I don't even know what it smells like. It just smells fresh and florally and girly and just fresh, florally, girly kind of perfume. I'm really bad at describing perfumes, but I feel like nobody's actually really good at describing perfumes. But this is an amazing perfume. It stays on all day and I know it does because my friend's like it smelled really good and it was like after softball practice and I was just like I just wanted like 20 like 20 buckets outside like how do I smell good it's this product guys it's an amazing perfume it smells delicious and I know I don't know if you can get it anymore but I got mine at Ulta well not mine at Ulta but I'm sure I got it at Ulta and then here I have the conditioner of the month and the last product is a Biokeratin Keratin Hydrating Conditioner for all, I am so sorry, for all hair types. Um, it's, in a, it's a really, really big bottle. It's a 17.6 fluid ounce, 500 milliliters. Can I be any more descriptive? Um, oh, I got this from me for TJ at TJ Maxx and my hair has never been more manageable slash soft. And it smells good, guys. I like smelling good, so. Can you know? Okay. And it smells good. It's amazing. It smells amazing. It's like a salon. It smells like salon conditioner. If that makes any sense. Um, it's just a really, really good product. It's made my it made my hair really manageable, really soft, and it smells good. So honestly, that has the three priorities for my hair. I don't really care, take care of my hair that well, which kind of sucks, but I just, I don't really care for my hair that much, which isn't good. But yeah, I love this conditioner. It's really amazing. It's purple, which is my favorite color. And it smells good. How many times can I say that? So, yeah, check it out. It's in TJ Maxx. And usually things with TJ Maxx are really inexpensive. So check it out there. Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. It's in a... Just, these products really just kind of took my heart this month. I was wondering if you guys wanted to see a makeup collection. If not, I totally understand. But just comment down below if you do if, or like this video if you guys want to see a makeup collection i'll do that for you guys um but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like and comment and if you want to see my face a little bit more on your you know subscription box click subscribe down below and i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace okay guys that's it for my haul and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did i say haul i said haul